Hello everyone, welcome to Gator Space Academy. In this video, we are going to discuss about post-gate guidance for aerospace engineering students. Let's look at video content. These are the topics that we are going to discuss in detail in this video, starting from admission process, then we will discuss about degrees offered at various institutions, then stay fund for various degrees, then we will discuss about available scholarships, then we will discuss about specializations for aerospace engineering, then we will discuss about colleges to apply, in what order or what preference we have to apply. Okay. Then we talk about individual colleges cut off. Then how to prepare for MS and PhD interview. Then we look at reference books for this interview. Then with low gate score, what all options we have, we will discuss this topic in detail. And other courses for aerospace engineering students like interdisciplinary courses, or MTech in mechanical engineering, we will talk in this in detail. Okay. Then finally, about Gate Aerospace Academy, we will talk. Okay. So before starting this video, I would like to take one minute of yours to explain about Gate Aerospace Academy. We are India's best and dedicated coaching center for Gate Aerospace exam. We don't deal with any other branches. The programs that we offer are classroom program, online program. In online, we have two programs. One is live interactive classes and second one is recorded classes. And third one, we provide postal program and we provide test series program. See, we are the India's best institute that is consistently producing ranks from our classroom program students and online program students. If you look at ranks from 2019 to 2024, you can see that consistently we have been producing ranks and we are pr very proud to say that all of these ranks mostly like 99 percent of these ranks are from our classroom program and online program students okay now let's get into the video starting with admission process basically we have two portals for admission one is coap this is common offer acceptance portal and second one is ccmt okay so coap is only for mtech and PSU jobs. Okay. And this is for MTech, these three. Okay. And through COAP, we can see that only these 24 institutes are participating in this admission process. Okay. You can see that starting from ISC Bengaluru to IIT Tirupati. Okay. There are 24 institutes which are participating in 2024 COAP portal. Okay. So the best part of COAP is it is free and it also have some drawback that I will explain. This is completely free. So initially students who are looking for admissions in MTech, anyway, I'm ruling out this PSU option because we don't have any PSUs. Okay. So students who are uh, looking for MTech admissions, they have to register in COAP portal and they will get a COAP number. Okay. Then after getting this number, they have to visit this individual IITs or IAC to apply for MTech. That is a drawback. Now, after completing all this process, okay, then if these institutes offer you any seat, okay, MTech in aerospace engineering or MTech in any specialization, this all seats will be visible in your COAP portal. Okay. So, what is the first process? This is a free process completely. Initially, you have to register at COAP if you are looking for admission in MTech only MTech because we don't have any PSUs, right? Now, these are the 24 institutions which are participating in COAP portal, okay? Now, after registering here, you have to visit individual website of these institutions and you have to apply separately for MTech here. And if you get admission in any of these institutions, that will be reflected in this COAP portal. I think it's very clear. Now, what is the CCMT? If you see COAP, here you can see only IITs are taking place and IITs are participating and IIC Bangalore is participating in this admission process. But what about NITs? This CCMT is, this is in the CCMT, you can see that all NITs, IAEAS Shippur and some triple ITs, CFTIs, okay, centrally funded technical institutes like DIAT and all other participate in the admissions for MTech here, okay. And the best part here is, here you have to pay 3000 rupees. If you belongs to general category, 
then you have to pay initially 3000 i'm talking about 2023 data okay 2024 ccmt portal is not yet opened but 2024 coap uh, portal is already opened and these are the participating institutes and let me tell this point very clearly here we will be having total 10 rounds okay main rounds are 5 here main rounds are 5 and additional rounds are 5 total 10 rounds we will be having now coming to ccmt portal here you can apply for mtech we are mainly focused on mtech only here so if you want to apply mtech in nits iiest shippur and some triple ITs and CFTIs, okay, Central Funded Technical Institutes, then you have to register at CCMT. The best part in CCMT portal is you have you have to fill in only one application. You have to fill only one application for all these colleges. Okay. Like whatever specialization you are eligible, you can give the preference order and you can fill in only one application. So that is the best part here. And if you build if you belongs to general category, you have to pay three thousand. If you belongs to any other category, then it's just 2,500 rupees. So only one application you have to fill in, okay? For all these colleges, no matter how many preferences you have, you have to give it in order, okay? And here you have total five rounds. Three rounds are, okay, three regular rounds and two special rounds. So this is all about your admission related to MTech. Now we will see how to apply for MS and PhD in upcoming slides okay now look at this degrees offered at various iits and isc and we will see the difference also so what is the first one master of technology which is nothing but mtech so this is course oriented study so basically it's like you are btech only you will be having semester subjects for every semester you will be having six subjects okay so after first year you will be having two sems you will be having subjects and final year you have the project so mainly this is course oriented study and this duration for this mtech is two years okay and coming to mtech research see this is two years to three years okay in college in some colleges it is called as ms in some colleges it is called as mtech research both are master of science only this is master of technology and this is research oriented studies okay i want to tell this point very clearly here this Coming to placement point of view, these two MTech and MS, uh, MS students will sit for the same campus placement. Okay, But here in MTech research or MS, this is research oriented. That means throughout your two years, you will be studying five to six subjects max. Okay, Mostly you will be doing research in your lab. So these days uh, we are, uh, we are uh, we are getting so many queries saying that, sir, I got uh, less score in GATE, so I will go and apply for MS in top institutions. For example, some student got less score, like 700 or 800. Instead of going to IIT Bombay or IIT Madras, they are opting to go for IASC to do MS. But let me tell you this point very clearly. If you are not interested in doing research, then if you go and join in MS, you will be screwed up. Okay, So don't do that. If you are interested in research, then only do masters in science. Okay, because here your coursework is very less. You have to study five subjects throughout your two years. Okay, and you have to. This is completely research-oriented study. That means you have to do research in lab. Suppose if someone is not interested in doing research, and your professor made you to sit in the lab for 15 hours or 10 hours, you will be completely depressed, right? So don't do that mistake like thinking that I will do MS in good college. If you are interested in doing research, then this is the best option for you. But this course will be completed in two to three years, 2.5 years to three years. Okay. Now coming to PhD. So PhD also we have, we can do after our MTech, like after po post graduation, we can directly do PhD. And second option that we have is if someone studied from BTech, BTech from IIT, they can opt for direct uh, direct PhD from these IITs. And third option we have is direct PhD. It is like interview based after your BTech directly you can you can apply for direct PhD and you can get selected. Okay, so basically we can get into PhD in three ways. One is via MTech, one is direct PhD, one is from BTech from IIT with some 8 CGPA. Okay. And we are mainly focusing on only these three because these two are not for us. But for an idea, I will tell you 
this is master of management even with gate score we can apply for this basically here in this program you will be studying business analytics okay and uh, last program with gate score even you can apply for master of design basically in this you will be working on product design development and management okay but for this mtech design program there is some other exam called seed actually this is very good course okay seed and gate these two exams are eligible to get get admission in this master of design okay and 70% of weightage is given to your gate score and 30% of weightage is given for your interview okay so this this is about degrees offered at various iits and isc okay now let's see what is the stay fund for various degrees i just explained you mtech is for 2 years okay 2 years per month you will be getting 12400 for ms and mtech if you complete it in 2 and 1/2 years or 2 3 years so every month you will be getting 12400 we have made a dedicated video on difference between mtech and ms you can watch it in our youtube channel as well as i will provide that link in the description you can watch in detail okay now coming to phd for 2 years initial 2 years per month you will be getting 37000 and last 3 years you will be getting 42000 so phd is for Five years. Okay, so these are the stay funds for various degrees. Now look at look at the scholarships available. See, first scholarship is Prime Minister Research Fellowship. This is for PhD candidates. Okay, so first year if you got selected for this scheme, okay, first year you will be getting seventy thousand. Second year seventy thousand per month. Third year seventy five thousand per month. And fourth year eighty thousand per month. And fifth year eighty thousand per month. Okay. so apart from this per month uh, stay fund or scholarship you will be getting additionally research grant of 10 lakhs this is for 5 years that means every year you will be getting additionally 2 lakhs for your research grant apart from your regular scholarship okay and uh, we have one more scholarship especially for girls that is called as drdo scholarship scheme exclusive for girls so if you get selected for this apart from your stay fund what you are getting 12400 and uh, you will be getting this 15500 also okay so this is a very good opportunity to, for for the girls who are opting for uh, mtech in iit okay so these are the scholarships available okay now let's look at courses and specializations for aerospace engineering in individual colleges okay now let's start with iisc bangalore uh, bengaluru here we have mtech aerospace engineering so students are confused that in uh, at iisc bengaluru we don't have specialization in tech for example mtech in aerodynamics mtech in flight mechanics we don't have such specialization in tech okay here basically they will be having only one intake for mtech aerospace engineering now you may ask this question sir then how can i say that i did specialization on this so based on the electives that you choose in your semester and the project that you choose in your uh, course work okay based on these two things your specialization will be decided okay so iisc offers mtech aerospace engineering okay and mtech research aerospace engineering and phd in aerospace engineering and direct phd also iisc offers okay and look at specializations we have structures we have guidance and control we have propulsion and combustion we have aerodynamics okay now coming to iit bombay iit bombay have specialization intake they take specialization before your admi admission only you have to choose your specialization but here there is mtech aerospace engineering intake okay so here we, they will be taking for aerodynamics specialization in aerodynamics okay and dynamics and control aerodynamic propulsion uh, aerospace propulsion and aerospace structures and they also offer phd aerospace engineering they don't offer ms program in iit bombay so this is about iisc bangalore and this is about iit bombay now let's go for the next college that is iit madras same with iit madras also iit madras and iasc okay see here it also offers just mtech in aerospace engineering so intake will be for mtech aerospace engineering there is no separate intake for individually or individual specializations okay so mtech aerospace engineering they offer ms aerospace engineering and they offer phd in aerospace engineering and specializations we have aerospace structures 
and aerospace propulsion aerodynamics and flight mechanics now coming to iit kanpur we have mtech again mtech in special aviation okay they don't give any mtech uh, aerospace engineering degree here intech will be also for special aviation so basically we have six specializations in tech separately okay aerodynamics propulsion flight mechanics structures computational mechanics aero thermodynamics and thermal sciences okay now they also offered this mtech unmanned aerial system engineering last year okay they introduced this new course last year now they also offer ms aerospace engineering there will be two intakes okay and they also offer phd in aerospace engineering so this is about iit madras and this is about iit kanpur now look at iit karakpur again this is same iit madras and iisc so there is no separate intake for individual specialization there will be intake for only mtech aerospace engineering again i repeat that how we can decide what is our specialization based on the subjects that you choose in your semester work uh, semester and the project that you choose that defines you are specialized in aerodynamics or structures or propulsion or controls okay so iit karakpur also having mtech aerospace engineering we will come to seats like how many seats are there in each and every college okay now they also offer phd in aerospace engineering early they used to offer direct phd also but these days direct direct phd depends upon the faculty at this institution so you have to look at notifications regularly okay this is this is not mandatory that every institute uh, must uh, must give a vacancy for direct phd so you need to check the notification regularly okay even uh, at our time uh, in 2013 14 at that time iit madras also used to uh, uh, give direct phd notification okay but now uh, they are not giving that much so you need to follow regularly these websites to know about it okay now this is about iit karakpur now look at iit hyderabad we don't have aerospace department separately we have a common department called mechanical and aerospace engineering now this iit hyderabad offers mtech in aerospace engineering and mtech in uh, sorry mtech research or ms in aerospace engineering and they also offer phd in aerospace engineering okay i think it's very clear now now let's go to the next slide now let's look at iist tiruvananthapuram iist tiruvananthapuram offers mtech aerospace engineering specialization in thermal and propulsion aerodynamics and flight uh, flight mechanics structures and design manufacturing technology see this is not yet approved okay this may be approved from this year but as of now three specializations are available and same with the phd aerospace engineering you can do specialization in these three specializations okay and if you look at diit pune they offer mtech in aerospace engineering specialization in guided missiles and uavs and they also offer phd in aerospace engineering navigation guidance and control specialization okay and i would like to tell one important point here diit comes uh, like this institute participate in ccmt portal okay for admission process but iist uh, is not participating in coap as well as ccmt okay so this will have separate notification in their website you have to regularly check the website of iist then you have to directly apply to iist only okay so this is not participating in cop or ccmt okay and diit is in ccmt it is particip participating in ccmt for mtech admissions okay now coming to iit guwahati we don't have any aerospace department here but we have department of mechanical engineering where you can do mtech in aerodynamics and propulsion and even we are eligible for this five specializations but if you talk about core aeronautical then you can apply for aerodynamics and propulsion okay then computational mechanics manufacturing science and engineering fluids and thermal engineering and machine design and they offer phd also but they don't offer phd for aerodynamics and propulsion computational mechanics they offer phd in fluids and thermal engineering machine design and manufacturing science and engineering so we cannot apply phd in aerodynamics and propulsion or computational mechanics so basically to conclude at iit guwahati we can apply for mtech in aerodynamics and propulsion okay if you want in terms of core now talking about iit darwad again here we have combined branch okay department 
mechanical materials and aerospace engineering here you can do mtech in thermal and fluid stream design stream manufacturing stream same with ms and phd you have specialization in these three okay but usually aeronautical students prefer thermal and fluid streams because we have cfd here and turbo machinery aerodynamics is also there so this is the suitable specialization for aeronautical students okay now let's see iit indore if anybody is interested in space engineering then they can choose iit indore okay they offer mtech ms as well as phd also in this specialization now coming to seat intakes this is a very important part okay of this video this is the recent stats okay of 2023 and 2024 sorry uh, in recent admission brochure and some are old okay iisc they offer mtech this year 2024 admission 19 seats they are offering okay and iit madras they are offering 15 seats for hdta half time teaching assistantship and uh, non hdta okay so hdta with scholarship they are offering 15 seats and without scholarships there is 28 so if the, if you ask sir what is the difference in these two as i told you that there is no difference in these two these two is just degree will be same only difference is hdta uh, seats will be getting the students will be getting scholarship okay that is stay fund they will be getting and non hdta they won't get any stay fund they have to pay their own fees okay so that is the only difference and students with low gate score can target this 28 seats when we discuss about individual cut off i will explain you what is advantage of applying mtech uh, from iit madras in non hdta category if you are having low gate score okay now ms they are having 22 seats and phd 2024 this is 2024 data now coming to iit bombay as we already discussed that they will be having specialized intake for four specialization they have separate intake on an average like they have 65 to 70 seats are there okay total seats in four specialization now coming to iit kanpur we have mtech 92 seats ms 8 seats and phd 19 seats again here iit kanpur they have separate intake for uh, separate intake for each and every specialization okay and what is this five see last year uh, they have launched mtech in un unmanned aerial systems also okay so last year they just took only five seats in mtech and ms they have filled with only three seats in this specialization okay so this year they may increase the intake of this uh, new branch that they introduced in last year now coming to iit karakpur again this is same as we discussed iit karakpur will not have separate intake for each and every specialization mtech aerospace only one intake that is 25 seats now iit hyderabad mtech aerospace engineering you have 12 seats and ms you have two seats they offer they offer even phd also here also they offer phd already we ha i have discussed in the previous slides like each and every iit what they are providing degrees so here we are talking about seats data uh, i don't have data for i karakpur and hyderabad and some other colleges for phd and ms so whatever the data i got the recent data i have uh, put it in the slide okay now according to this you can plan your admission now coming to iast as we discussed already iast will be having four specializations okay now three are there okay so each specialization will have 18 seats so 18 seats for each and every specialization and mtech at diit we have two specializations in aerospace engineering combined we have 48 seats now coming to iit darwad we have mtech 20 seats and ms 20 seats and coming to iit gauhati aerodynamics and propulsion we have 12 and computational mechanics we have 12 okay manufacturing we have 30 fluids and thermal we have 46 and last uh, design we have 41 okay and phd we have 48 seats in iit gohati iit indore this is 2022 data latest data is not available mtech in space engineering is 5 ms we have 5 so this is all about seats available at different institutions i think this is very clear for you now now let's start the next slide now this is the preference that you have to follow uh, when you are applying for the admission so this preference is based on uh placements according to placement iisc bangalore is 1 2 and this is 3 and this is 4 and this is 5 this is 
from so many years this is the order but recently placements at iit kanpur karakpur and iit hyderabad are same almost and as iit hyderabad are having very less number of seats they are having good placements okay but placement wise these three are same now okay but this is the order of preference that you have to follow in terms of if you are looking for a placement now coming to specialization if someone is interested in aerodynamics they will definitely opt for iisc okay and if someone is interested in propulsion they will go to iit madras if someone is interested in control or uav they will go to iit kanpur if someone is interested in non core jobs okay and control and other streams they will go to iit bombay so according to specializations also we can choose according to placements also we can choose so i have told you this order in terms of placements okay now i am not going to talk about this right second preference because placements at these institutes are almost very less okay so this you have to decide as as per your wish okay if you want to study under great scientists or professors at iist that's up to you but as per our experience most of the students who are doing post graduation they are they wanted place they want they want to get settled or they want to get a job main main main, main motive of doing post graduation is getting placed only so based on that these are the preference that you can opt for and here you can choose even i have spoke with our students who are studying here but they are saying that placements is not that good okay so you can take a decision on that now we will look at individual cutoffs iisc bengaluru you can see that in general category highest is 889 and lowest is 837 we are not going to talk about civil triple e and mechanical and xc okay this is 2022 data and highest in obc is 785 and low is 755 and this year last year 2023 surprisingly they had 10% weightage for women quota so students uh, are not aware of this even girls who got uh, rank above 20 uh, like if their gate score is less they might have skipped the uh, skipped the application form for iisc but don't do that mistake this year uh, this year also you may have 10% quota for women quota okay so if you look at 2023 data so general category 988 is the highest score And 806, and OBC 793 and 735, and EWAC 740 and 740, and Women Quota 749 and highest is 784. Okay, now let's see IIT Madras. See I, here I will explain you in detail. See 2023 you can see that general category without with HTTA scholarship. That means here you will be getting stay fund. Degree wise, these two are same. There is no difference in this. there is no difference in this degree wise both are same but without hstts scholarship you have to pay the fees and if you get seat in iit madras okay you go to any bank they will give you 3 lakh loan and you can pay 2 years of your fees don't get, don't worry about that but if you have less gate score try to apply for iit madras because placements at iit madras is very good okay so you can look at the cut off also See five eighty nine. It's almost six hundred. You can see the difference is almost one fifty. One fifty gate score. Still, they got into without HTTA scholarship seat in IIT Madras. Now, when you have good placements and when you when you got less score, I definitely suggest you to apply for this HTTA scholarship because this year scholarship seats are just fifteen, and without HTTA scholarships are twenty eight. So don't lose this opportunity, students who are who got less score. definitely target iit madras before targeting iit bombay because placements are good at iit madras compared to iit bombay in core okay so if you look at obc also you can see huge difference okay cws also huge difference pwd okay so this is about the cutoffs and you can look at 2020 21 and 2020 data also now let's look at iit kanpur for all specializations you need to have general 500 plus score and ews 350 plus and obc 350 plus and uh, sc st 250 plus see based on this data you don't decide that if your score is less than 340 350 you don't decide that i will not apply for iit kanpur don't do that mistake okay you apply for all the colleges because this year criteria may be different because this year even though toppers are having very less gate score okay so this year it may change so don't give up try to uh, complete this application process and follow up in all the rounds okay so now coming to the next college that is iit bombay you can see that 
even we know that in india aero uh, structures is famous because of placements you can see the general cut off is almost 100 more than other specializations it is 701 okay and 564 aerodynamics 584 dynamics and control 584 almost aerospace propulsion and you can look at other categories also you can see very clearly ews 530 625 642 521 obc 560 621 469 526 and sc st you can see the data now this is the recent data that they posted in their website this is the minimum cut off they they uh, they are asking for teaching assistantship okay specialization general they are asking minimum 500 and this is 450 this is 333 so this is the overall data that they have given admission last year okay scores okay and this is the minimum gate score that required for teaching assistantship 450 and scst 333 okay now let's look at iit karakpur and mtech aerospace engineering for general category you need 500 plus and ews 380 economical economically weaker section and obc 446 and scst 246 by 236 okay now iit hyderabad see cut off is very high the reason for that is placements are good and seats are very less only 12 seats we have for mtech aerospace right so 600 plus for general category obc 500 plus and scst 400 plus now look at iist tiruvananthapuram for general category you need minimum 350 and ews and obc 315 and scst and pw d it is 175 now how to prepare for ms or mtech research or phd this is very important students who are not able to get into mtech they can opt for ms and i told you if you are interested only then only opt for ms for the names uh, don't think that i didn't get mtech though, so i will go to ms as i told you very clearly at the starting of this video mtech research is completely a research oriented program basically you will be studying only four to five subjects in your course work remaining time mostly you will be doing research only that means you will be sitting in the labs working under the professor if you are not interested in doing research then you will be very much depressed by doing that work okay so don't uh, so many of the students are many of the students are asking this question if i don't get mtech i will go and join ms in good college don't do that mistake if you are not interested in doing ms okay once again i am repeating because this is very important if a person who is interested in research then only he can spend good time in labs he will not get bored but if someone is just looking for placements and if they don't get mtech admission don't go for ms because that will give you a lot of pressure okay so how to prepare for ms and uh, phd so basically mathematics is common subject and in mathematics these are the subjects which are very important linear algebra differential equations numerical methods laplace transforms and complex numbers these five topics are very important then calculus also okay and basic subjects for example if i am planning for ms in structures then first i need to be good at engineering mechanics then strength of materials then i have to focus on core subjects like core structures and vibrations so mostly they will be asking questions from mathematics and basic subjects only to understand how uh, good you are at your basics okay so make sure that you follow this procedure okay when you go for interview you follow this for sure okay now these are the standard books that you have to refer for your ms and uh, phd interview uh, students who prepared for gate exam they are all aware of this kind uh, this all standard test books just have a look at it i will just change the next slide okay so these are aircraft propulsion rocket propulsion heat transfer engineering mathematics now next flight mechanics strength of materials core structures and vibrations so these are the standard test books that you need to follow and one more suggestion i i would like to give whenever you are preparing for interview try to read foreign author books for concepts and solve numericals from indian authors this will help you understand understanding subject in a better way okay so follow this tip that will help you a lot okay now yeah now this is one of the important slide that i have put in this uh, video now if you have low gate score and you are interested in doing you are interested in changing your stream then what you should do you try to apply for mtech in mechanical engineering and these are the top specializations as of now 
2024. This is the recent data that I have collected from last one week. Okay, this data is very important. See, uh, this four specializations are having good placement, like 80 to 90 percent placement they have in these four specializations from M Tech. If you have low gate score, uh, okay, or if if you have high gate score also, if you want to get into other streams, then these four are the better options to change the stream. Okay, the reason for that it is even in IITs, M Tech uh, mechanical design and CAD CAM thermal engineering, these guys are getting 30 40 lakhs package also. Okay, so if someone is interested in changing the stream, okay, then they can opt for these four specializations in M Tech in mechanical engineering. Okay, now let's go for the next slide. Now see where to apply. First, I decided that okay, I will be doing M Tech in mechanical in those four specialization order of preference. Okay, from one, two, three, four. Last comes the thermal. Okay, now this is the first uh, preference in order. Okay, if you are opting for M Tech in mechanical engineering, then those four specializations you have to choose. First is I IIC Bangalore, IIT Madras, IIT Delhi, IIT Bombay, IIT Kanpur, and IIT Roorkee, IIT Karakpur, IIT Gauhati, and IIT Hyderabad. See, one of our student completed his masters in design from IIT Karakpur. Okay, so. To get into IIT Karakpur design stream from mechanical, it is very difficult. But from aerospace with low gate score also, he got very easily into IIT Karakpur. Okay, because some seats are reserved for other branches also. In that quota, he got into IIT Karakpur and he got very good placement. Okay, so if you have plans to shift the stream or change the stream, then you can follow this procedure to get into a top one colleges or tier one colleges. Okay, so this is the preference order. Okay. Now second preference and you will be shocked to hear this data in order. See, I am not including all old uh, new new IITs also. I have included this data from NIRF ranking only. Okay. And talking to some of the students from these colleges, I have put this slide. Okay. And uh, see NIT Tirichi is having very good placement. So in second preference, you can opt for this and NIT Suratkal you will be shocked to hear that aeronautical companies are com coming here and they are hiring students for 20 lakhs. So this year 100% placement from NIT Suratkal. Aeronautical companies are going to NIT Suratkal for design okay, and uh, thermal okay, and uh, manufacturing engineering. Okay, So these three uh, streams specializations this year they got 100% placement there. So you can do this see what what my suggestion is if you are planning to change the stream then instead of going to iit darwad for doing uh, m tech in aerospace engineering okay like fluids and thermal you can opt for uh, these four specializations okay or instead of going to dit pune you can opt for any of these four specializations of mechanical and get into these top colleges that would be great okay three third one is indoor four iit bhuneshwar five iit dhanbad 6 IIT Gandhinagar, NIT Varangal, 8 IIT Rupa, 9 NIT Kalikat, 10 Witspilani, Hyderabad and Goa. So you have to apply only this, this is more than sufficient. If you apply any in any other college, see always apply, don't do your post graduation just for degree sake because already you have done that in B.Tech only. Now we are looking for placements, right? Usually students look for placements after completing BTEC, right? So when you want to get into a tier 1 company, so this 10 and uh, before in before slide also I have shown you 9. So if you are planning to change the stream, then you can opt for this 19 colleges and if you get in any of them, you will get placements in these 4 streams. I am repeating again, these 4 streams are having good placement, okay? Even in IIT Bombay, you can op opt for industrial engineering. And uh, if someone is interested, they can opt even for inter interdisciplinary courses like data science also. Okay, like CDS branch. Now this is all about the video. And you can see that how much effort we have put into this video by collecting all this information. If you really like this video, please do like this video and share this video to all the students who gave Gate Aerospace exam. And uh, this video will definitely help them, them in many ways. Okay, so let's... Uh, start 
explaining about Gator Space Academy. At the starting, I have explained you what programs we offer. Once again, I repeat, classroom program we offer. We offer online program, live as well as recorded, postal program and test series program. Now, we provide test series program in two parts, like Gator Space test series. Every year, this will be new. So this year it will be 2025 and previous year question test series and this new test series is divided into four parts like topic wise, subject wise, multiple subject wise and grand test. We have overall 230 plus tests. Okay. So we are even planning to increase that this year. Now previous year uh, questions are segregated into three types topic wise, subject wise and year wise. So you can even give this test series also for practice from 2007 to 2023. Okay. Now these are our some of publications that are available in Flipkart and Amazon, which are having excellent feedback in Amazon and Flipkart. Even toppers are using this. Even All India Rank 1 students are also using these books. Okay. So try to get these books and uh, look at the content and quality that we have provided. By looking at the solution book also, you will be amazed to see that content and all. Okay, and the books price is very nominal. We have kept in the range of 500 to 600 so that every everyone can buy and understand the quality that we are providing at Gateway Space Academy. Okay, and we also pro uh, we also have postal program like problem sheets volume 1, volume 2 and uh, we have our own material like aerodynamics, space mechanics, aircraft structures and uh, jet propulsion, flight mechanics, engineering mathematics. Okay. Now, thank you for uh, watching this video. Before this, I would like to tell one important point. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are regularly putting very good content that helps students uh, in learning new things and concepts and all. So, subscribe our channel to get regular updates. Okay. And uh, join our Telegram channel. All the links are in the description. In this Telegram channel, official Telegram channel, we will be posting uh, job notifications, internships and uh, uh, all information related to aerospace and aeronautical engineering and uh, some resources for gate aerospace exam like concept of the day, question of the day and all these things. Okay, Do follow us in all social media accounts but try to join in telegram channel as well as subscribe to our YouTube channel for regular updates. And we started this post guidance sessions uh, by uh, individually explaining about individual IITs. Okay, so you can see uh, videos in our YouTube channel where we, uh, where our students have put a separate video of IIT Hyderabad, IIT Kanpur, IIT Madras. So we made a dedicated video for masters. Okay, for uh, doing your masters at these institutions. Okay, so once again, thank you. And before going, I would like to tell uh, one important point here. If anybody is having any trouble or any any doubt related to post -gu guidance then if you feel and if you are not feeling comfortable in commenting your doubt on on this video then you can just call us uh, to these numbers and uh, we will help you with the admission process okay thank you thank you once again have a great day bye